Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to Go Math Lesson 10.3, Customary Units of Weight Lesson. Pause while you write today's lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write the lesson objective. The lesson objective is compare, contrast, and convert customary units of weight. Now let's unlock the problem. Hector's school is having a model rocket competition. To qualify, each rocket must weigh 4 pounds or less. Hector's unpainted rocket weighs 62 ounces. What is the weight of the most paint he can use for his model rocket to qualify for entry? The first thing we'll do is look over at our purple box here, and we need to find what weight does Hector need to convert. So let's look over and see what information they give us. And it says that to qualify, each rocket must weigh 4 pounds or less. And Hector's unpainted rocket weighs 62 ounces. So we need to change those 4 pounds into ounces. The second bullet point asks, after Hector converts the weight, what does he need to do next? and he will need to subtract and we will get to that in step two now let's solve our problem the first thing we'll do is we'll look here and we need to know that one pound equals 16 ounces and we will use a bar model in step one to convert. So we're going to convert four pounds to ounces. So imagine all of these, each of these rectangles is one pound. So these rectangles here are one pound. And in one pound, there are 16 ounces. So that's why you see the 16 in the middle of those boxes. Now let's remember when we're going from a unit that's bigger to a unit that's smaller, we multiply. So when we multiply the 16 times 4, we get 64. So when we convert 4 pounds to ounces, we get 64 ounces. And let's go over to the right and record what we did. Our total pounds was 4, and we multiplied. We multiplied that by how many ounces were in 1 pound, which is 16, and that equaled 64 ounces. Moving down to step 2, we need to subtract the rocket's weight from the total ounces a rocket can weigh to qualify. So we need to take our 64 that we found and we need to subtract it. So 64 minus 62 equals 2. And we subtracted 64, or we used 64 minus 62 because we just found in step 1 that 64 ounces is the total ounces a rocket can weigh to qualify and Hector's rocket already weighs 62 ounces so the weight of the paint can be at most uh, let's see, almost 2 ounces for Hector's model rocket to qualify for entry. Moving on to our example the rocket boosters for a U.S. space shuttle weighs 1,292,000 pounds each when the shuttle is launched. How many tons does each rocket booster weigh? We're going to use mental math to convert pounds to tons. Step 1. Decide which operation to use. Since pounds are smaller than tons, we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, so I need to divide the number of pounds by, we look over at our chart, 
to 2000. Step two, break 2000 into two factors that are easy to divide by mentally. So if we break up 2000, as we see over here, we can break it into 1000 times two. Step three, divide 1,292,000 by the first factor, which would be our 1,000 over here. That's our first factor. Then divide the quotient by the second factor. And our second factor is this. So I'll go ahead and label these. First factor and second factor. So when we fill these in, we have 1,292,000 divided by the first factor, which is 1,000. And we get 1,292. And then we move down and we take the quotient, which is the answer to our division problem, which was 1,292. And we divide that by the second factor, which is 2, and it's there for us. So when we divide that and we do the math, we get 646. So each rocket booster weighs 646 tons when launched. Be sure to go back to your teacher's webpage and complete the exit slip. Be sure you are able to write the lesson objective in the form of an ICANN statement and be sure you understand the lesson. Thank you. We'll see you in class tomorrow.